undefeated. Yo, what's going on, people? Undefeated. Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters, fam. Chatting it up. Listen, before we go any further, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your brethren. I don't know. What else? What's... <laughs> um, we said tell your brethren. <laughs> tell your friend we, Michael last Michael, week. Michael last week. So we're going to say a new friend. Craig. Yeah. Nah, Craig's not a popular. We ain't really got that many Craigs know, in the I know, network. I know a guy called Craig, Craig Mitch. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but again, that's that he's one. Yeah, but that's though. one that's though. Just, you know what I mean? Craig. Ain't got like a lifetime of Craig's. No, Daniel. Yeah, Craig Daniel's Craig. the name. Daniel. There you go, Daniel Craig. Okay. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> you did that. You did that. You did. Listen, tell Daniel Craig to retweet this. <laughs> that's it, all we need. That's one. Double O seven. Yo, if he retweets this. It's a wrap. It's over. I'm telling you. I, don't, I always think that this is so random. I know you're not introducing me. I'm just jumping in. It's so <laughs> Fine, random. Bro, you're the wherever I always feel all it takes is a one big person to retweet one. Now just do it for me, please. Please just retweet. And the game changes. And it's over. That's what Rihanna did I'll, with her. That, with who? With her. She is played that a, really? Is that yeah, how it she played, um She played one of her songs. Just she chilling, vibing to it. Sounds and mad. game over. Mad. That's it. I think even the, someone said that about The Rock. Like The Rock, we know he does all those videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had a girl's song in the background. And that girl went to number one in the charts just because of the song in the background. Oh and man. she then faked, like, thanked Rock forever, like forever. This was only about four or five months ago. Now, this is crazy. Then, Having you, that type of power and not just helping people knowing, often. And is... not knowing. <laughs> I, I must have gone up to Maya because I've got, I've got no followers on Instagram. I was thinking, just put me on your page. One, like, just, <laughs> one picture. Just, just, just one post. We have to respect what you did, fam, because you came on this pod, mm. yeah, tr mm. as the Trojan Horse fam. Yeah. And then after that, we ended up on the couch with you and Belly, fam. <laughs> so, yeah, if, so in, a sense, power, though, in a sense, in a sense, even vibes. though it's like a B Tech version yeah. that I respected, yeah. you did that thing, fam. Drop a bomb for him, fam. It's weird because you say I did it and then you say B Tech at the same time. Yeah, that, like, I, I heard that. I was like, no, where's no, he no, going no, with no, this? No, no. Did you hear? Did crazy. You hear? We just spoke yeah. about The Rock, fam. Did you oh, yeah, not hear? Okay, we're we're yeah. talking about The Rock. Yeah, for a okay. I'm talking about we okay, from one. Okay, cool. From, okay, from, now I get a vision. No, it's the same. I respect it. To me, it was a big moment. I'm talking about getting number. You lot are talking about getting number one. We got we got to keep it right. We, we should at least get an like, IBO title, just a light, light IBO. Hey, yeah. Southern area fam. Such, Southern yeah, area. true, humble. Yeah. yeah. Let us. <laughs> the WBU or something. The WBU. WBU. No, but the WBC no. would let anyone become a champion. So yes. don't get involved, fam. I remember that. I went to, i done boxing social podcasts and he had the WBC belt there. Oh, snap. Yeah, Marissa. Man, like Rob Tebbett. Gave him a WBC belt. <laughs> and you know them, them badges on the side of the belt? One of them had boxing social on it. No, that's See, cold. She sent that to him. That's cold. That's, I said I want one. That's sick. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me you wouldn't want that. I would still. I ain't gonna coming. lie. With and my face next belt. to Ali's, it was heavy. You know, like he sent them the real belt. They had I the love real that, belt. I was they like, got Yo. belts. Tell, listen, let Rob know right now. We'll fight you for it. <laughs> we'll fight you for the belt. Would you? No, I'm checking. No, I'm just. No, because I don't know. No, with no, you, no, I, no, I, no. With you, I don't know. No, Rob is a friend of the show. <laughs> I know he's a friend of the show, but you are just a different person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had to ask that question. That's not above me. Oh. That's not above me it's to me. Yeah. Right. All right. It's fight week. <laughs> it's fight week. It's fight week. Hold on. Should we introduce? Let me, bro, ask right. me my tailor tape, man. What's your tailor tape, bro? Gee, I'm 0 and 0, fam. Never fought, never lost. But if I did, someone gets knocked out and it's not me. Actually, let me, let, me, let me come over to you, fam. Big man, mm. what's the tail of the tape? Two and zero, bro. Talk to me. Yeah, I'm saying very proud of my knockout ratio, fifty percent knockout rate. You did that. That means half the men that entered the ring with me, yep. left on their backs. That arms called you. Oh, oh, oh! I'm not. I'm just want to clarify. I'm Jeez. separate Jeez. to the shot that he yeah. just took. I am dead. Bro, bro if, if, if I, we're not ourselves, if we don't talk about, because they was on their back. We so. can talk about it. We can talk about yeah, it. Can, so we how we do we not it. bring up, hey, go. Hey, the bouncer's What's road, though. You know, bouncer's a bit road, you know. I yeah, see, yeah, so again. Uh, arms is a body ball. The bouncer look like, you know. He's I like, was rooting for bouncer to win this thing from a long time when I, I called you? that he'd win. I'm, I'm not even joking. I, I, I was doing, I was more on the African flex. I was definitely arms. Really? 100%, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You knew what was going to happen. I didn't, you know. It happened. I thought arms could do something, you know. Really? No. No, I didn't. I know you ain't gonna do this. Hey, 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 hey. When I saw that size, those muscles, I was like, you're not a fighter with that body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's weird though, the perception on people that don't know about fighting. Oh, social media. We'll look at that and think, oh my God, he's going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> he's really going to. That yeah. fly kick took it all out of him, fam. Yeah, when knee. he tried to do that one, you, he's you, like, yeah. You man. know on a street fight when you do that mad move, your stamina just goes, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? When that move affects you. <laughs> That's years of watching Jean Claude Van Damme films, you know? Yes. I'm thinking that four kick. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense works. Man, I was like, "Raw, this." Yeah, it don't work. It don't yeah, work. Wait, but wait, wait. Know, credit to them though to go out there and do it. 
Yeah. Like, there, you know you're going to get embarrassed. You know the memes are going to come. Yeah. And they made They made money. all the money. They, they made, made all the money. money. They did well. They did but very what's well. what's your tailor the tape though, bro? My tailor the tape is undefeated, no fights, can't talk... F- well, we're about to say they can't box or talk about boxing. <laughs> well, man, but you never lost them. Well, you know, to be fair, I had a couple of amateur fights when I was young. Oh, and, sick. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. New and Boys, ABC, shout out. Um, I remember... <laughs> <laughs> they were not like, because someone out there were like, ah. <laughs> so, you know, someone out there were like, wait, wait, one second. I remember coming home with a bit of bloody nose, and my mum saw, found out Nigerian, as you can imagine. Yeah. That was it. So um, I had three fights, a one or three. Oh, actually. sick. He's yeah. under. Bro, you're free and all, fam. Oh, I didn't know amateur record counts. It counts. It, it counts. counts. It all counts. Oh, yeah, I'm free and all then. Oh, 100%. 100%. Retired, undefeated. Listen, Can't make important. a comeback. Might do it for charity. No man is beating you in the ring. No man is beating you oh, in the one ring. One second. Out of the ring either. <laughs> <laughs> out of the ring either. Cleaning up out here. All right. So we, we had to invite you back, bro. It's fight week. It is yeah, yeah. It's, it's the big, big one. Week. And again, how, wait, actually, before mm. we move, we, we can't just move because you provide the insight mm. at some of the things that we haven't been at. That's right. Leeds. Mm. Talk to me about Leeds. Yeah. You, you have you ever been and seen? Have you ever seen a fight? What was Leeds the atmosphere before? like? No, that, that atmosphere. Was, that, that was my. I've been to Leeds to watch a football match. Like, lucky enough, one of my friends used to play for Leeds. So I've been yeah. there, but that was many, many moons ago. Like to go there and see Josh Warrington come out. I've been to loads of fights. Yeah, that's the best atmosphere I've ever experienced in my life. That wow. looks so electric. When he came out, I was actually screaming, saying, "You were screaming!" I was screaming, saying, "This is incredible!" Like I couldn't, I couldn't try and be cool. You know, try and be cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? I was actually, I was like, he came out. And he got onto this thing that rose, that kind of platform. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's when they started losing the plot. And I was like, "This, this is, this is, um, this is unlike anything." It felt like that was a hundred thousand. Mm. And I know it felt like that because I've been into the AJ Klitschko and the AJ Povetkin fights where it was like 90, 80. It didn't sound like that. Those that's fans are different that's fans. That's what I'm saying. Because like, you know when AJ, like AJ's, like my sister asked for an AJ ticket, so I know what kind of fans will go to an AJ fight. You know, everyone would turn up for that's AJ right. fight. Those were, and I don't. Hopefully, Leeds fans don't take this as me being disrespectful. Were twenty thousand hooligans, yeah. football mad hooligans who had been drinking since lunchtime and were ready to go. Mm. Like they were ready to go. So, Warrington had to go this long route. The idea was Lara, as the you know the one that beat Warrington, was going to go a long route as well. And they're like, you know what? For security reasons, we just got to do that to straight, to straight to the ring. So that's how fearful of. I remember being ringside thinking. If Warrington gets knocked out, I need to find the exit door here. Oh quickly. hell yeah! Yeah, oh it yeah. Would, there was not enough security in that. Place. Turn I was like, it over. It's gonna go. That like this, these people were ready to go, and I was like, this could at any time because mm-hmm. it looked. Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. As like, you know, I'm a big fan of you and that. Yeah. When you was at, I was hating. Mm. I haven't liked any of your posts for a minute after that. <laughs> after that, I thought, I, I thought you blocked me for some reason. Nah, just <laughs> wait, because the, ex- the excitement, bro. bro I was jealous bro, when you. Was, you know, when you're at home, you're like. He's experiencing it was, like it was that's incredible. a. I would love to experience those leads because those fans, any fans that love their fighter, mm. I, I can imagine Canelo gets that when he walks mm. to the ring. That mm. that sound of just I'm here for Canelo no matter what. So then when it changes, I, I, I'm gonna ask you the hard question: Did he do it on purpose? Were them headbutts intentional, fam? No, you know what it is? I think boxing, like, boxing has the dark arts, doesn't it? I mean, if you go back and watch even Tyson in the 80s with the elbows, no, no, like, boxers do do things they shouldn't do. If you can get away with it, you get That's away right. with it. And also, if once, you can't, you once can't, the damage is done, it's done. Once the damage is done, it's done. And they, they were in there and they were verbally, like, beforehand. And I feel like anything was going to happen. And once mm. he done one headbutt, he got away with it. I think he probably thought, you know, let's just keep fighting. And mm. if the headbutts come, they come. I want to quickly go back, though, because there's not just Josh Warrington. There's a guy in Stoke called Nathan Heaney. Mm. So I went to one of these fights. He fights for Frank Warren. I went to one of these fights in Birmingham three weeks ago at Talk Sport. He has similar fans to Josh Warren. Really? It's okay. Actually, if you guys can Google it or YouTube, Nathan Heaney entrance, it's ridiculous. They've got this football relationship. He's got Stoke City. Yeah. And they literally oh, all of Stoke City Stoke. come out to him. And it's just, mm. once you've got that relationship with a club like that, like Tony yeah. Bailey had it with Everton. Yeah. Yes. You, you can't, that's why you see footballers now try and go to clubs. And link up to the team, trying. yeah. It's either organic, or it's yeah. not, if it's real, it's not real. Fans And that Nathan Heaney, he's a middleweight, he's unbeaten. He's not very good. He's not going to go all the way, I don't think. But if he can at least even get to British Championship level, mm. jeez, man, he will pack out a stadium now. That's it's crazy. funny you say that because I wonder, Tyson Fury, mm. he's a big Man United fan. Mm. I don't feel like he's connected. He's not connected. He doesn't, so, like, he doesn't like, because usually, 
You gotta be into the football. Into the sport. Into football. You gotta be into it. Okay. Like Josh Warrington went to Liverpool versus yeah. Leeds. So he's Leeds versus Liverpool. So he's there. He's at the games. The okay. The fans I mean, know him, him there. They know. You know yeah. what I mean? You know when someone's really just lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. think Tyson Fury could name the starting eleven for United against West Ham. Couldn't yeah. name it like that. Well, yeah. Josh Warrington would tell you the under twenty threes. He'll tell you the, <laughs> he'll tell you the whole lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, Nathan Heaney. It, just because when you said about the, the the sound, Nathan Heaney, he had a pop. You know, like when you used to watch WWF back yeah. in the day and someone comes out, Nathan Heaney came out and it went boom. I was like, oh. I'm seeing something. Who is this guy? Yeah, it was incredible. And he yeah, signed for Frank man. Warren. Signed for Frank Warren, yeah. Hey, drop a Frank rank for Frank Warren, fam. Frank, Frank gets them. Yeah. I mean, Eddie kind of nicks them, doesn't he? Yeah, sure. Frank, Frank creates them. Eddie's like, oh, I'll take him now. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So don't be shocked if Nathan Cheers, Frank. Them, and actually. Eddie could actually take, again, take him to the next level, man. Eddie could actually take everything because we're hearing about the zone and BT, bruv. Yeah, so yeah. we're looking at that, and that is mad. If Eddie For walks real. in as Frank Warren's manager, it's different. That mm. is Jay Z Nuts, and I love Nuts. Yo, so what was the AJ interview like? Because I see off. you in there doing table tennis, fam, enjoying, sitting mm. down comfortable with AJ. <laughs> Talk it's to funny. us about that. So I, I got told I was going to do it about four days before. They said, Ade, um, would you be interested in doing an AJ interview? I was like, what kind of silly, stupid question is this? Would what? you be interested, be though? Lost, you know, but then you've got to play it cool and talk about yeah, money. Yeah. You've, got, you've got to try and get rid of the excitement. <laughs> it's, it's weird because I'm very much, part. I'll do it now for free. I'll do it. So I've got to like, talk money with them. You know, you know what these other people are getting. So I was like, okay, you know, but what's the fee? And although I'm already excited, I'm like, what's the fee? And they said the fee, and I was like, I'm signed. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to pretend I wasn't like, mm, all right, I'll do Imagine it. Imagine the happy no, dance that came up to the email. Yep, yeah. that I don't seems, even know because yeah. this. seems appropriate. And what's good, he, he didn't know I was doing the interview. And they were like, the zone big wigs are like, um, you know, AJ can be in a bit of a mood. Obviously, he's just done the sparring. He's only three weeks out. He might not really want to do it. We've got him for a couple of hours, blah, blah, blah. I was like, <laughs> We'll see, because I know, I, not that I know age, I don't know him like that, but every time I've seen him and it, there's been a good relationship. Good vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah Good yeah. vibe there. So when he saw me and he come through the door, he's like, yo, blah, blah, blah. Oh. And I knew the, the zone big was like, yes. Yeah. And then we started talking from there and they were like, I was like, you guys might just press record. Like, don't wait till we sit down. Yeah, that's right, that's press right. Press record now, because yeah. we're going to have a little conversation and we did a little walk around. And then we just got straight into it. Um mm. What a and I, funny thing is, I actually got in trouble with that interview, you know, between now, so I'll tell you the truth. Just because there was um, like questions that I should have asked, because the idea was, I ask AJ certain questions. Whoever's going to do the Usyk interview in Ukraine, ask Usyk similar questions. So it then becomes... So they compare them. They compare them. But I was like... <laughs> I love that. Off piece. <laughs> Sometimes you got to go off piece. Yeah, when it's like, natural. You know, yeah, it's natural. He's chucking it this way. I'm going to chuck it my way. And it's like even one like, of the roadman thing, like the roadman. That's bit. right. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what came to my mind. It was a roadman fight. That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? So they were kind of like, oh, you went off script a bit, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I get that. But we kind of hear those AJ interviews all the time. So I want to try and... That's let's, right. Now, everyone thinks there's Femi hiding. Can mm -hmm. I bring out Femi, please? That's so right. um, it was, I can't lie to you, it was an amazing feeling. I'm already tough on myself every time I do something because yeah. I'm like you guys. We're, we're still quite new to all this. Yeah. We're not broadcasters. Yeah. So I'm very like, oh man, I don't know. But I walked away from that thinking, I enjoyed that. That was all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when we done a little table tennis at the end, I just thought Did this was fun. No, nah, I got beat, but I posted the point I won though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but AJ can play table tennis, sir. No, I could see that. You you yeah. You're actually good as well, though. Nah, nah. That's, 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 Bro, that, come that, on. That, like, that's that was a 20 seconds. That was the clip. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. That was a little 20 second highlight. You know when you but you'll be a lot of men, though. I'll, I'll, yeah, we yeah, women. <laughs> no, <it's> just, <laughs> but no, no. <laughs> and, and, uh, AJ. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> now, AJ um, just looked very calm, very relaxed. Yeah. He's, he's fully, fully focused on the job. So there's Fully no focused, there's there's, there's no know, mental lapse. There's no Nothing. mental lapse. Zero. So what, see, this is what I was saying I'm on Monday. I'm not even just saying that as a AJ fan. Zero. But before we tuned. before we get back to AJ, I just want to go on that because obviously you've had this this broadcasting career and how it's building up. What was a family response to obviously Ade sitting down with Femi? <laughs> Do you mm, know what I mean? Mm. What was that response? What did the the group chat look like? How how mm -hmm. did everyone respond to you and stuff? Nah, no, look my. My, I've got um, sisters, I've got a couple of older brothers and mum as well. She's in Nigeria right now. But everyone just super proud because the, the journey to get to here was, this wasn't even planned. Like the journey was exactly what you guys are doing now. That, that was it for me. Like do your YouTube channel, have some fun with that. And then when, once it starts climbing like that, and then, you know, as much as 
an AJ interview is a big interview. It's like, a AJ is like interview. um That's right. the first or the second biggest name in boxing. In the world of sport, AJ's a massive name. So for me, it was a big thing for them to ask me to do it. And then for me to do it and then get it. Mm. And then for the zone to kind of show the trust in me to do it. I can't lie to you that everyone was super proud. Especially my um big sister. Yeah. She's almost been like my backbone. Like a couple of years ago when there was no money and she kind of helped me out and yeah. sort of pay rent and sort of sort things out and stuff. And That's so sick. she's now like, yo, like you've put the work in. And I was like, I know. And she's like, here are the fruits of it type thing. So mm. she's super happy, man. I, I mean, love to hear these stories, you know. These are the yeah. stories that I live people, for, man. People who do stuff like that get that shout out. Do you know what I mean? They just, yeah, yeah it's she, powerful. She was, she was massive for it. And um, yeah, she just, she's just happy. She's just like, because sometimes when we when you're in it and you don't really see it because you're, you're you just prepping, move forward you're moving forward and you want the next thing or yeah you're and just then like... okay Addy next week you're doing and then you're like you don't really get to celebrate and enjoy it there's no like mm. let me go on holiday and have a bit of fun with this that's right you're onto the next thing already yeah mm. you know what I mean like I'm already the zone have already told me what I'm, what I'm doing next month and I'm like my, my mind's already like okay I've got that coming up so mm. I don't even get to enjoy the AJ thing coming up this weekend because yeah. I'm already like, okay, I've got to do something else. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So when your family member, or even when you guys say what you say about me, I yeah. see it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, nice. Yeah. It is nice because, yeah. um, you know, it's just it's hard. Mm. It's working, man. So anyway, now we 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 talked about your life. Yeah. We want to get, get into it. AJ. So let's so let's, let's do it. We were talking about. Um, because obviously we've had AJ's experience with Ruiz, that mental mm, lapse. Mm. I feel like that was one of the best things that could have happened for AJ's career. Yeah. That first loss where it's like, maybe I didn't respect this opponent. Maybe I didn't do that. Mm. Now I trust that AJ is locked in whenever he's fighting. Mm. And with Usyk, I think it's 100% of that. Mm. So for me, like I can't see a reality where Usyk beats him. Mm. I just can't see it. And my issue, I'll just say mine is, I feel AJ's got too small. Okay. I okay. feel he's got too small mm. and I think he wants to show us something. I feel like he's building into what we what people are asking from him from the public like show us you can fight like this. No, mm. do what you do. But who's like, asking that though? Cuz that that's not part of the conversation. But why does he want to change it? Why is my this is the question I'm like. Mm. Why does he want to show us that he's <clears> a <throat> technical skilled fighter? Why not just you've got all the weapons, mm -hmm. use those weapons and get him straight out of here. Don't even waste time. If you can take him out in the first, do it in the first. Get it done early, cause you. Why do you want to show? Cause I think he said, "I want to box. I want to." It's interesting, cause when I, as soon as he came through and I asked him, I said, "Look, every time you fight now, one of the biggest questions is your weight, mm. cause obviously he came in like eight in stone four against Takam, sixteen eleven against Ruiz the second time round, and AJ looks like he's almost been studying the boxing thing a bit now. Like he's now That's right. really fully immersed, cause he was like, you know, what, Ade, George Foreman was considered the biggest heavyweight, but you know, he wasn't big, like size wise. So he's like, there's been too much focus." on this size thing mm. now. Whereas now he says, now I'm just training and when the weight comes off, it comes off. Okay. He says, I'm doing, I'm eating all the good food. I'm training three times a day and now it comes off. And I think there was a bit of AJ when he was coming through, well, there was a bit of vanity there. Mm. You know, I want to look good. I want to still do yeah, weights. That's right. You know, I still want to look like a bodybuilder and look, you know, take my top off and every everyone screams. Mm, but yeah. I think now, you know, when I see him, I don't think, I think he's just training. And I think he's now naturally a 17 stone free 17 four guy without doing weights i think that's just his weight now mm. and i think he's more focused on the craft rather than anything else and i do think there is a bit of you i, I agree with where he wants to prove to people he can box that's right yeah. I think he actually the... wants to show people no way i'm an olympic gold medalist that's right i'm a world championship silver medalist you know i won the abas after only a year and a half of boxing let me show people what i can do and i think the bodybuilders stick is getting to him mm. to the point and I, Bruno stiffness. Yeah, all yeah. that old stuff. And yeah. I'm like, and for me, that's those these are outdated perceptions of AJ. Because the fact is, since Ruiz um uh, in Ruiz 2 and Pulev, we've not seen him come out and do a clitch goal performance. Mm. He's not trying to be that fighter anymore. He's coming out and he's loose, boxing IQ, he's moving around the ring, and when it's time to close it, he still has that spike he's, there. AJ is one of the most devastating closers we've seen yeah. in the modern in modern day boxing. In terms of how he, how when he senses when he senses blood, yeah. he's the gonna spike. go in he's and he's gonna spike. try and finish, yeah. Yeah. you know. And uh, again, I just hope I see that. It's like I, I, I put it to that. There's a restaurant in Campbell. Yeah, it's called Le Joint, bro. They do one thing. It's just fish. They do a, um, it's just fish. That one. There's nothing on the menu. Fish. Fish. And yeah. one thing on the menu, mm. but they do it well. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And my thing is AJ. I know you want to go and. 
I know you want to go and blitz, man, or mm. you want to go and show, man, like technique and this, that, and the other. No, knock him out. Yeah, you know, though, I, I, at the very highest level, sorry, Trev, go you've got to have more than just one thing. Thank you. Like, literally, once you get to that top table where potentially you are fighting a Fury next or a Wild or whoever it may be, guys coming up like a Hergovic or Joe Joy, you've got to show that you've got more than one trick to you. So even if it is just fish, you might have to have steamed fish. Mm. You might have to have grilled fish, fried fish. Damn. You know what I mean? It now might need podded. a bit more. You know what I mean? So that's what I think because he needs to add to his arsenal. So he can't. And not only that, but when we even say he's a fantastic finisher, he was and still is. But that was championship level. Thank you. Now he's gone to the Premier League. He might have to do a bit more, you know. He might have to do a bit more. Listen, don't, don't get me wrong. The head, movement, the head movement I'm seeing from him is mm -hmm. way better. Like, as you said, the Ruiz loss was probably the best thing that could have happened at the time. It didn't feel, it felt horrible. Mm. Yeah, Jesus, it felt like the worst day mm. for all of us. Oh, man. Of course. For all of us, it was a bad day. For fat people around the world, it was the fat greatest. Oh, bro. It was the greatest day ever. Like, the oh, gym what? community. All those muscles. Oh. Gym don't mean shit. <laughs> the gym Listen. membership got <laughs> revoked. I was looking at tubby people all around the place like, right, oh. boy, I never know what's <laughs> under the hood. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> at any time, you could have the hand speed. Hand speed? Hand Time. Yeah, bro. Hand time. speed. But I think the I think the the diversity of his arsenal now is gonna be what makes him go up to a whole nother level. Mm. Because the fact he can box, he's always gonna have that power. That power and instinct is gonna be there. Yeah. He wrestles with the instincts of being a brawler mm. in the midst of it. In Pulev, you saw him go for it and then suddenly go, let me relax. He's not ready mm. to go yet. That's IQ waking up because it's like you 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 don't have a sense of looking at a man saying he's still he's still got like a bit more left. I shouldn't try and do it yeah. now. That's when you burn out your energy. Klitschko. Do you know what I mean? We glorify the Klitschko performance because he won, but mm. it was crazy at certain points in the fight. That's what makes it entertaining to watch. He ain't trying to put have more of those fights no, where it's like swings and roundabouts. He's trying to make this clinical. And I don't think it's the wrong thing to do with a guy like Usyk because if you do try and knock him out and you gas yourself out, you're in a horrible place in round four. Let me go, so coming back to you, yeah, because mm. we've been arguing like for a while about That's you what Usyk, yeah. <laughs> That's just you too. <laughs> what Usyk mm. will bring to this um, to this fight. Because mm. not that, I don't think, Travis is not rubbishing Usyk. No. But no, he's, I think he's more saying, a lot of people are asking, what's AJ going to do with Usyk? But no one's saying, what is Usyk going to do with AJ? But yeah, that's right. does Usyk bring a problem to AJ in this fight. Is U is this not like, is it just a, is it a foregone conclusion? Or mm. is Usyk, are you thinking about Usyk saying, this is a challenge? Oh, this scares me. I think this is Why? a hell of a challenge. Because I think he has a boxing IQ whereby the very best, like, I, I always feel like the, there's, there's good boxers and there's very, very elite level boxers. And I think the elite level boxers so whether that be Manny Pacquiao or Floyd back in his day, but mainly Floyd and, and Loma mm. have a boxing IQ to where they can start switching things up and you might not be able to compete with it. Mm. They go into that tool bag and bring out tools that you've not seen before and you're like, geez, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's this? What, what, There's a hammer that's got Spirit five heads. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, what, yeah, what's going on? Do you know what I mean? So they can go into that tool bag. When you think you've thrown everything and they're all, oh, I've got one more for you. Yeah. What, can you handle that? Mm. And I was just saying to Trevor before you came in, like, I'd done a little sit down with uh, Tony Belly where we're watching the fight and we're going back from it literally like every second and even he was like it wasn't so much the physicality of Usyk or the speed it was mental where we think he's seen what Usyk's gonna do Usyk does something else and he's like oh, okay I've got to work out that now and it, it almost just became draining yeah for him and he said the first three or four rounds he was sharp he said this is the best physical condition he's ever been in but Usyk kept doing things that he just didn't know how to deal with yeah and that comes from being a boxer at the age of 12 that comes from having as many amateur fights as Usyk had. That comes from mm. now being part of Loma's camp where you're getting trained by Loma's dad as opposed to who he was getting trained by before, which was um, Ali Bashir, who I actually know personally, but there's levels to this training stuff. Yeah. Now, that comes from, you know, traveling the world and fighting everyone in their backyard and beating every single person in their backyard. Drop a bump. This, this guy is literally... And maybe that even shouldn't matter too much, but you know everyone likes the home comforts. Yeah. This guy has gone to everyone's backyard and won. Yeah. Like, it, there's no fear. He went so to Russia and fight into... Gassiev in hostile Russia. Gassiev is Mr. Russia. Yeah. Gassiev didn't win a round. Went there to Tony go. Belly. It wasn't Tony Belly's backyard, but it's still the UK. MEN Arena. Boo. Didn't mean anything. This guy was just psyched out and boom. He, he is he's very good. And I guess the biggest Cerebral. thing... Cerebral. Yeah, the biggest thing is, well, he's an unbeaten fighter. 
This unbeaten fighters don't think they can lose. Yeah. They just have that mentality. It was like, I ain't going to lose. I'm, I'm unbeaten. That's fair. You know That's what I mean? Fair. There is something that they bring to the ring, which is a bit, you know, just a super confidence where we all know around this table, everyone in it, the cameramen, everyone know. AJ knows he can lose. Yeah. AJ knows he can be hurt. I've not. I've yeah, but, but AJ look, knows he can be hurt well. So let's look at what the mark that would have on someone then at that level. Someone who knows they can lose means they're going to train and make sure they do every single thing possible to make sure they don't because mm. they know what that feels like. But you also know that feeling of losing. You also know, oh, I've been here before, man. I know this is it's like... It's a new fear. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like when a kid falls over, mm. they find... Before, you see a kid running with no fear. Once that kid's experienced that drop, mm. it's like when I get there, it's like, ooh, ooh. They slow down but, and they become more aware mm. of danger. There's but, some teams that have no no understanding Asian, of them. And we don't know. I think there's going to be a video about what happened really in New York. In we, that, exactly. Yeah, we never know. But even AJ... Why was, was his dad like, so angry? Yeah, his dad was livid, right? You shouldn't have put him in the ring, blah, blah, blah. There's, there's so much going on behind that. But even AJ was like, why am I feeling like this? That's it's right. Like, it's like he didn't know the, the feeling of losing. Like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. What is happening? And um, AJ is, hasn't fought anyone as good as Usyk, you know? So, yeah, but neither has Usyk fought anyone as good as AJ. Or anyone as big as AJ. Yeah, or def- who hits as hard as AJ. Big. Joe Joyce. So, nah. That's pretty big. Yeah, but this is not in pro boxing. Mm. So my thing is, like, going into this fight, yeah, like, I don't see I don't see how, what Usyk's game plan is to break AJ down. I'll be honest with you. Mm. Like, I look at it and I think to myself, your campaign at heavyweight so far, mm. it's not been great. Mm. So your cruiserweight resume, tremendous. I give you all the yeah. accolades, mm-hmm. put you up there, Holy Holyfield and Hay. I give you all of that. Cool. Heavyweight, Chaz Witherspoon and Shizora, mm. less than stellar performances in both. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there that gives me or that licenses the respect that you command right now. The mm. carrot is different. It's a no, different it, level no, of because you have to display for. it. When David Hay was coming up to heavyweight, mm. he was sparking man out. So straight away he's answering, yeah, the power carries. The power carries. If anything else doesn't carry and he's too small, he still has a puncher's chance. Yeah. I look at Usyk and I say, cool, the, the boxing IQ is amazing. You're not going to lose that. But weight classes mean stuff. Mm. And size is a madness at the heavyweight division. So AJ losing weight and coming down and still being bigger than him, that natural size means I'm bigger than you and I'm stronger than you regardless of what the scales say. So for me, you look at Lomachenko when it's boxing IQ, he got in there with Tiafimo Lopez, mm. couldn't get going because of that power for six rounds. Mm. Yeah, Power is a real thing. Mm. And in the heavyweight division, weight what, classes... What was Tiafimo though? What was he? What do you mean? Aggressive. Very, yeah. Super. Very. I, I don't know if AJ started aggressive. But like he that. wasn't. No, no. But, but look, if Tia Fimo, you look so, Tia Fimo was so sharp and aggressive, it scared me. No, he was, he, no he was sharp. No, he was sharp and powerful. Was mm. He was sharp and powerful. But letting him know. No, it wasn't, but it wasn't aggression, though. It was very. It was sharp and a great game plan. Rotate same time. Bang, to the body. Now Tia Fimo was like, um, Lomachenko was like, okay, that body shot there has now made me not want to do the things I wanted to do before. But I don't think that you're going to get the same shots. Like, the luck that what Tiafimo was getting off on Lo, um, Loma is different. And what, the other thing is, Tiafimo came in because he was the one that no one is expecting to win, right? Mm. But he understood the assignment. He said, this is the carrot. This is the this is the game changer. If I beat... Because Usyk knows... So why doesn't AJ is, think that? No, I'm saying AJ is the is the main man. He's the champion. No, but no. But, but, I'm he, saying one, but he's hearing the conversation about Usyk But no, I'm Usyk just going to talk about from an Usyk perspective. If I'm Usyk, I'm saying to myself, if I win this fight, my whole life changes. This is it. Like, so yes, um, Chaz, not good enough. Or yes, in my other um, belly, I didn't show too much. But this fight here, I got to approach this differently because this is the Canelo payday. This is the payday. This is it. And I think that the approach to this fight is going to be, he, he's good. it's a game, they, they keep talking about chess. This will be a game of chess and he will try to set traps for AJ. And I worry that if AJ is going to go into the fight saying, I want to be as elusive as him, I feel he just, he doesn't do what AJ needs to do. That's why when I keep talking about the fish thing, go in there, pressure him, knock him out, get it done. Don't AJ, try to prove I something disagree. to him. I do I think, I do believe that AJ has to dent him though. I do think AJ has to get the respect. And it goes kind of back what you said to Tiafimo. When Tiafimo, it clearly, that punch power scared Loma. Yeah. So Loma was like, oh, I'm not getting in there. Like, this is, this kick can hurt me a yeah. bit. I, I do think there's a, there's a part of AJ where he has to show Usyk, this is the That's heavyweight right. division. That's right. Yeah. That's I, right. I am 17 and a half stone. In your and I'll batter you. That's and, right. Yeah. And if you come into my danger zone, you're in trouble. That's yeah. right. So I think if AJ does what he did against Ruiz the second time around, although he said that's his best performance ever, by the way. Where it's a bit that you know, it's a bit tentative, a bit nervous. Then he might have problems. If AJ goes out and just 
I think Pulev is the balance. Pulev's the balance. Pulev's that, definitely that balance. performance he did against Pulev, yeah, where it's like, balance. I mm. crack you, but then I can get back on the bike if I Lovely. need to. Do you know what I mean? There's balance, and it's like, there's still spite in my actions. Mm. But then you got to get there. And that's the one thing we can say about, um, and Belly says it like, the measuring and the distance and how quick he it's did incredible. it. Because we, we all watched it and said, oh it's my incredible. God, look how quick he's downloaded. He's downloaded his program. He understands it now. He's like, you're here. Mm. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to walk into that danger space. Mm. And it, he doesn't, because he's, um, as you said, he's well traveled, right? So he's not going to get gassed by the fans. He knows, he goes in, I understand the program. Okay, this is where I need to stay. Go in, bap, bap. Keep it moving. Stay. I'm never going to get into a place where I'm in real but, danger. But it's actually incredible. Like, it, And Loma, to an extent, used to be like that. It's not so much anymore age and wear and tear on the body. Yeah. But they're so aggressive. And it's it's weird because most people that are aggressive like that are getting, are getting countered. Yeah. Like, like you know, yeah. for example, the Sam Egintons of the world. That, yeah. You know, I, I'm going to take four to land one. Yeah. yeah, yeah whereas yeah, so. Usyk is going in and he's not getting, he's not getting yeah. hit. So yeah. he's almost going into that danger zone. So aggressive. And it's putting pressure on you because then you've got to either be on the back foot and, you know, almost mirror what he's doing. Yeah. So it's aggressive foot front forward boxing, but he's not getting hit. It's so hard to do what he does. It's and so the different. frustration you, that you can have from a fighter do, when you don't hit what you want to hit. But do you register the fact that he's going in with an, a taller a taller opponent and mm. he's cons he's a passive pressure fighter? Mm. All of his footwork keeps coming forward, keeps mm. coming forward, keeps you alert. He's got a long way to get inside against AJ. Mm. Now, yes, if yes. AJ keeps his fight long, mm. he's going to have to do a bit more just to get anything going. Mm. So my thing is, if reason why I say that, like I lean towards an AJ points win. Yeah, oh, he's okay. Yeah, okay. he's got a long way to go inside all night long, and the minute he starts to force the action because as time goes on during the fight, he's got to take a bit more chances. That's when AJ cracks him, because if he stays on the back foot, keeps it long. Usyk has to dictate this. Usyk knows he's not coming in this thing to really win a points win in AJ over AJ in that's the UK. That's the way he wins. No, not in the UK. You ain't okay, getting it done like yeah. that. No, that's what I said. If so, AJ gets a legitimate points win, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. So this is what I'm saying. So Usyk is going to take chances as the, we get to six and seven and eight. And I don't think AJ is going to expend much energy. That's when AJ cracks him. AJ needs to get his second win because look, we all know AJ's got a bit of a gas tank issue. It's not the worst, but he, he's second. Like, even against the Pulev, even against Pulev, like round five or six, I'm like, oh, AJ looking like he's getting a bit tired. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. needs to make sure that second win comes quickly because it's that issue there where round five to six, where I think Usyk will start to go through the gears very quickly because he's going to have to go through the gears yeah. quickly. Mm. And if AJ hasn't got his second win, that could there be a problem. But I'm with you. I think AJ gets a late stoppage or, or a points win. Um, a points and what win I don't want incredible. after, though, I want AJ to get his flowers after. And what I mean is I don't want people to say, oh, it was a cruiserweight. No, I don't. I don't want any of that talk because Usyk. Uh, there's Thank not you. five heavyweights on this planet that be not Usyk, at all. You know what I mean? That's right. AJ needs to get some credit for the win. If Thank AJ does, you. Because you know what people are like already. I'm already. You know, I can already see the headlines. Yes. Oh, but he's 36 and he's a cruiser. I don't want to hear that. You. I don't want to hear that. Nonsense. I don't want to hear that. And that uh, one, what I will say is, been a heavyweight if for three AJ years now. wins, if it's a, le a legitimate points victory, mm. that's like as you said before, that's like someone winning on points against Mayweather. In, in terms of Mayweather's that good, yeah. technically, mm. if you can out uh, outbox a boxer, mm. all the praise in the world. Thanks. Now, if he knocks him out, uh, whatever he does, because we've been waiting for boxing. Good. Yeah, This has been the longest wait for boxing. Yeah. And guess who's bringing it back first? It's AJ. But if you he, know what I mean? Because we were saying, if, if he clips Usyk in the first round, mm. Still knocks great. him out, Still mm. great. it doesn't, for me, it won't get the respect. Still like, no, great. not for me. In the conversation, it mm. won't get the respect. Mm. It'll get, oh, we don't know what it would have looked like if Usyk had got it comfortable into the fight. Maybe you caught him cold. There's, they, always, there's always a narrative. They Someone's break it down. Gonna, yeah. But like you can't deal with that narrative, though. There's, the late stoppage or points come. win silences so yeah, much of I the chat. Of, like eight to 12 or a, a good points win will silence it. But Never. I, but to me, look, no overtime. If he's there for the kill, kill him. Yeah, facts. If he's facts. there and his head's there, take it off. 100% early. because no one... Make a statement. Like, we really know. do something. Like, Because I would be shocked <laughs> if AJ knocks him out in the first. Make that statement and Can destroy you him. imagine? That'll be outrageous. And he just celebrates then, he's on that one. And then grab that mic and then scream about those boys fighting across the pond. For no reason. Yeah. Well, AJ's actually going there, isn't he? He's going to Vegas. He's going to the fight. He's going to the fight. He's doing something for the UFC. And they said he's going to be ringside. Providing, obviously, he wins. AJ will be ringside for Fury versus Wilder. Oh, my God. Oh!
that as a free be, agent. That would be incredible. Incredible. That would be bro. incredible if he stands up. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. Stands oh. on the ropes. Stands on the ropes. Ah, oh, Wado still. If Wado wins or Lu oh my god, I feel like Do you yeah. know what I want. AJ you know fights either of them. Can I be real? Yeah. Can I be real? If, they, if whoever wins, whoever he fights the winner. Yeah. Can I, be real? I think there's a I thing for Wilder, Wilder versus Wilder Ruiz. Wilder, though, versus, you know? Wilder Ruiz. I think Wilder Ruiz in America would be bigger than AJ Wilder in America. You're lying. Huh? Yeah, I think the Mexican American Ruiz versus oh. African American. Oh, yeah. okay. I, think African, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, that okay. Mexican American thing I get you, versus actually. African American. Wilder's American. lost the fan base. Wilder's unless he beat, if he has, he has to beat Fury mm. to enjoy that because it'll just be um, uh, these men are fighting. Yeah. He'll think he'll be the hardcores that yeah. will go and yeah. watch it. But let's say now if. If AJ, if Wilder wins, yeah, mm -hmm. which I don't think is going to happen, but I would just like to see you never know. that AJ versus Wilder. If AJ walks into the ring, mm. faces off oh, with Jesus. Wilder, my life. Oh, my oh, oh, I my would my. lose, bro. Dude, that I'll would be, be jumping incredible. Up dude, especially if he dents Usyk like that, like puts that performance on and then does that. Climbs the ropes like bloody old school Undertaker. Big show on them, man. Big show on them, man. <laughs> just climbs the ropes. Yo. And you know Wilder's chatting the most. They'll be face to face. And oh, no, that's no, what no, I need no, AJ. No, no. I mean, AJ that... to climb the ropes needs to turn into Femi. I need him to have a bit yeah, of that yeah. Dylan White oh, bone in him. I need that London. I need that London road man. Yeah. Become, don't or Watford, sorry, Watford, 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 Watford. sorry, Watford. AJ. It's not London, is it? Yeah, it's Watford, Watford. It's still by ways, by means, by ways. No, 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 no. By ways, a strong roundabout can can That's, like, that's like Redden. It's that don't count. We say M25. A strong roundabout. We're all on M25 somehow. Somehow, bruv. Nah, he needs to. He needs the to circular do son. He needs to do it. That's the only way you sell that fight big. But if because if AJ does something random like push, because AJ is not a pusher. If he pushes, uh, nah, nah, AJ won't push. AJ, if AJ I'm gets pushed, saying, he'll shove. He'll do a madness, but he ain't getting pushed. He ain't, he ain't pushing but that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The American fans remember because. It's, it's, it's the two brothers going at it. And it's you, and remember, there's That'd there's a be... bit of needle. There's a bit of needle. It's with, left over. With man them it's still stealing. There. It's Not still just there. that, but I'm saying there's needle in terms of the U, like the UK guys have come over and done a madness in America from acting and all this other stuff. And it's just a bit of a, I don't call it resentment, but there's something happening yeah, there's something between, there's between something America and the UK. And it almost says, you know what? Fight. Let's have Dude, this come. Let's have this discussion. Fight. Oh, it's oh the Wilder! Two bangers. If you're listening, stop swimming. Real training. Why swimming in that dirty water? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm trying to think. He's trying to get sick, and then he's submerged. I'm like, what are you he's doing? Submerged in it. Like, what are you? Who's told you to do this? You just in the public water like this. This public is outrageous. With, like a I mean, bridge, floats of poo going past. Like, what are I, you doing? About, wait, 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 wait. Isn't it st it's still a dangerous fight for um, AJ though? Versus that, yeah, it, oh, it is. We can't. 100%. Dang. Like Wilder yeah. could put him to sleep for about a minute. He can't have that mid round when he's just taking, nah. a eh? he's taking lie, time lie. off. And the thing is, like, someone said this in our, um, our live chat on our Undefeated page. And basically, he's saying now, Wilder, as much as his legs are skinny, he keeps the pressure on every part of the round. Every part of the round, bro. He doesn't mess. He every sits down like he's about to pass out and he comes every out and he does it again. Round. But yeah. let, let, let's be honest though, if AJ cracks him as well, uh, it could be over. It could lights out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. he'd never been cracked by someone. Ortiz cracked him, and Ortiz can crack, but he wouldn't have been cracked by anyone like AJ either. So it's both ways. It literally is a case of who lands. If early. AJ has a round seven like Ortiz had against Wilder, oh, then it, AJ it's could over. end him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he. Anyway, I don't. Even it's want to such a legacy fight. It's a fight that we still need. We even no matter what while. happens to Wilder versus Fury, I still believe that. AJ needs to fight Wild afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah After yeah. Fury, do you lot agree? Are we all in 100%. agreement? Hundred percent. It's 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 too big. Um, you know, you know, cross Atlantic as well. You got American two. I think what Wild is Nigerian as well. Didn't he do the DNA thing? Oh, was he? And like thirty six percent Nigerian. We'll claim him. I'm yeah. taking a bomb. Was it Nigerian? Yeah. We'll claim him. Yeah. We'll claim him. Okay, but should we take him? Take him that? We'll take him. F.A. Jag was sitting, so that's... F.A. Jag was for real. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll take him, fam. Yeah. Hey, whatever. That's hilarious. You know what I mean? We're, you know what I'm saying? I still tried to claim Usain Bolt still, so anything's possible, fam. Take I do. it. Get take out of here. Bro, get, sometimes get out you got to check his lineage, down. fam. Just take the lineage. Down. You got to check, uh, bruv. You got to check. We're all African, fam. Bruv, yeah, we are, but, you but know, yeah, the, the flag of the Olympics uh, is Jamaica, so... Hey, Lawrence Okoli's on this card as well. I almost feel like he's getting forgotten on the card. Yeah, it's really weird. Completely forgotten. But no one cares. I said this to someone the other day and I got a lot of stick. And I, I tried to kind of explain myself like, I don't care about the undercard. And, I, and people are upset with me. And what I was trying to say is that when the fight's of that magnitude, all, I, all I'm yeah. thinking about is AJ Usyk. Mm. I'm not thinking about Florian Marcoux. Marcoux. But I do Callum like the undercard Smith. though. But I Callum like Smith, Smith a light heavy. I don't mind it. 
Callum yeah. Smith, you know, first fight at light heavy list, he's got, you know, with his new trainer, Buddy McGirt. I don't mind it, but people are like, eh. yeah. you know, people moan about everything. I know, I know oh, people I know. complain. Uh-uh. It's allowed, though. People are allowed to complain because, again, that's all impressions, clicks and impressions. As much as people are complaining about arms and bouts, are, listen, everyone's talking about they it. So in. when I go back into that room and I, I'm coming with those impressions and them mm. clicks, bring the money. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, it yeah. works. Yeah. It works. It, whatever, as long as they're talking. Mm. It's true. It's as true. long as they're talking, but let's I like, go. Real, you know? I like an Akoli defense. Do you know what I mean? The opponent, I looked at his record. I'm, I don't really. Yes. 15 and 0, undefeated. Yeah, but yeah, like but when you start Akoli, to look at the opponent. Akoli's serious. He should smoke him. Si- yeah. Early. And then and then now that Bradis is staying at light heavy, sorry, cruiserweight, because Bradis was talking about going to heavy, which was silly. 36 he is a small as well. Yeah. I think there's that. There's Macabu's out there as well, WBC. So, like there's, that. so there's there's fights out there for him. And yeah. then Akoli in a couple of years' time will be a heavyweight. That's well. right, he's going up for yeah. sure. When yeah. AJ steps away, I think he'll just take over. Yeah. Take over yeah. the main. You think he'll take co- over? I, no, nah, take nah, over. Nah. I'm saying he'll be the new heavyweight. Oh, okay. I'm saying they're not gonna fight each other, they're oh. brethren, isn't it? Is that, as good as, I'm as, good as, cut. as much as I like him and he's a big guy, you know, all those intangibles have gone once he gets to heavy. Yeah. He's just a normal sized dude then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is this a no, is like the same as more? Six five. Six five, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Has the same as would a power carry over is what we're talking about. I think they say that he has got devastating power. Power, right? I think he will likely carry over. I think the power carries. I think him and Dillian White is a great fighter heavyweight just because of that, the that little thing. Already. Yeah, yeah, that history. Yeah. Like, I, I, I still think this Otto Wallen thing that people are not taking serious, and it, it's a serious. This is the this is a potential banana skin. Dillian versus yeah. Wallen is this, this a, is, for this me. Is, this is several banana skins on the floor at the same time. Mm. De- thank you. Thank this you, South Four. Mm-mm. This guy is—he is, 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 doesn't this look. This might be the first time I'm shooting Dillian some bail, and I'm looking. I'm like, I see him getting for it though. Yeah, I see him getting for it, mm. but I also think, you know, you've gone from potentially fighting Ariola, yeah, which, which would have been a, nicer a bit fight. of an easier fight, right? A 41-year-old Ariola coming off a defeat. That's right. Part-time boxer, really, at best. Mm. You're yep. fighting this Otto Volen who's been desperate for an opportunity. That's like, right. give me an opportunity, please, God. And um, now he it. gets it, yeah. And I, I think he'll give Dillian something to think about. There'll be trouble there, don't get me wrong, but I just don't see him doing what he did to Fury, to Dillian. Mm. Because, like, when, when that happened with Fury, it was like a cup. I mean, he I don't want to discredit him. and make it he seem like it was luck. Me. He pressured he... him, it was strategic pressure, yes. But the cup mm. made the fight more so than... You know the outboxing and all well, of these other little create, elements. Your, you gotta create your own luck. You gotta create moments in a yeah, in yeah, a. Yeah. You same way. Thank you. The same way we had it in um, Dillian's fight with um, Kaboom. Kaboom. What's the what's the guy's name that we everyone they accused him of cheating. We Oscar haven't seen Rivas. him since Rivas. Yeah. We haven't seen Rivas since yeah, fighting Brian came, Jennings. He came it? to spoil. Yeah. Mm. He came to do a madness. Now I'm saying to you that Wallin will bring again, as you said. No one is giving him this chance. Mm. This is a big day. um, Dillian has this moment of just a lapse. As we say, with AJ, he needs to tie him off with the stamina issues. Dillian still has that in his... his, With his game. You see, the thing for Dillian, for me, and I think I said it when I came in there last time, I think Dillian could could be the fourth or fifth best heavyweight. But I also think anyone between 15 and five could cause him problems or beat him. Did he like see right now, I wouldn't put a gar- like I wouldn't yeah, put my house. That was a tough fight. Yeah, fight. I wouldn't put my house on him beating Hergovic, for example. There, Do you yeah. know what I mean? So there's fights out there for Joyce is yeah, the one. Joyce where... as well. It's like well, that's that's tough. So these are the fights I want to yeah, see. Yeah, you know what I mean. Dylan's closer to 15 than he is to one, two, and three mm. or four of Usyk's But four. he deserves if he does be if he dispatches oh, Wallen, he does. Solid. He deserves the praise because I, I think the same was what you say about like AJ in the sense of he's fighting Usyk, and I know it's different, but I'm saying. It gets rubbish because like oh, it's a warm up. It's mm. a it's a this. Mm. No, this is a this is a banana skin. The same every time I go into a fight, I'm taking braver fights that a lot of men ain't taking. I'm I'm staying busy. Yeah. How a lot of men don't stay busy. Yeah. Give me my flowers when I do this and let me go up in the rankings because I feel like he's been in the game and he's always been number four no matter what. Yeah, he's always yeah, been. Yeah, because of the guys who are at one, two, three. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, that's it's just, like he's just not he's not done enough to be to have more than. Wilder Fury and AJ in the conversation. But when does Wilder like let's say Wilder loses again? When does them when does his stock drop or does it never drop because he's still Wilder with is, that punch? The problem is it's difficult to drop below Dylan because he's who would, whoever would have beaten him would have been Fury or AJ. So you're getting beat by guys that are number one and two. So it's difficult. Mm. If you if you are in Wilder's case number three 
and number one's beating you, does that mean you drop to number six? I don't think it does. No. It means you drop to number four. That's right. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's tough for Dylan right now. It's 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 a good fight against Otto Wollen. And I hope that the casual fans understand that Otto Wollen's is serious. You know, yeah. like even look at the fight against Dominic Brazil. Otto Wollen's a serious cat out here. This is what I'm it's saying. And I, I didn't think Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn didn't help it when he spoke about what the time when um, Fury was fighting um, Wollen, he made it seem like Wollen was a bit like just not the guy because mm. he was like remember they was true trying to get mm. the big fight they was yeah. trying to get AJ sir they kind of undersold it but now look who's in the ring no no maybe he wasn't and, and look as much as look, Eddie Hearn obviously look promoter he says whatever he wants and it's some I see something the other day about so, do you see him trending today with the fight hype thing I seen no. that. Like, someone's oh, he's destroyed him about what he said about he's going to take over American boxing and someone's reposted it and he was like said I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and then someone takes the piss at the end but oh, at the time so. when Fury fought Volin I think maybe he was correcting what he was saying not many of us I personally didn't know yeah. too much about yeah, him I didn't yeah, know yeah. nothing about him Volin's stock had risen mm. in a defeat which is, shows right it's not just a def you don't just fly and disappear after defeat mm. and now he's got his opportunity and um, I'm happy for him it's going to be O2 Arena It'll be sold out. It's going to be a great fight. Mad. Yeah, Babich will be on the undercard. Fight. Hey, my Babich. guy. Babich. Should be married by then. Should be married by then. Yeah. Why are you saying Hukovic? Why are you saying Hukovic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think about David Hayes' comeback? <clears throat> the Haymaker, 4.75. He's back. Ready. You see the boxing clinic he put on Fournier? Insane. Didn't even use his right hand. <laughs> yeah, decided. Like, Masterclass. You know what it is, yeah? I don't even know what... To, I, David. I can't even I can't. You saw it David So wait Hold on actually Let me just get your thoughts David. On what happened to Evander What was that Because you, you I know you're an Evander fan As well Oh mate What was that like Just Did, did you Did you, you, know you come I, Like you know face is, to face yeah. of mortality No the thing is yeah You know everyone says Oh 58 58 And you're right Old But you know like Obviously when we saw Tyson Hitting them pads like when he, when this, when this Mike Tyson thing was going to come for him, it was yeah. Tyson, 52, 53. But when Tyson was hitting the pads, I was like, oh my God, Tyson looked incredible. Mm. You know, we, even though they sped it up a little bit, I was like, oh my yeah. God, Tyson looked mad. Evander hit the pads and I was like, this needs to stop. This is really slow. This is, it's a, and he missed, he missed a couple, he missed one of the combinations. I was like, no, no, no. It's uncomfortable. What's it, it's uncomfortable to watch. His media day was horrendous. Horrendous, bro. And, and, and I was like, what are we doing here? Why are we wheeling them out? Like, don't you know, worry, I've got a better video for you. This is my boy, Riddick Bo. Oh, no. He's, he's coming back. First feeling. This is Riddick. What's your first take on Riddick Bo? It's crazy because I'm at an age where, and I remember saying this the other day, like, these people, Evander and Riddick, were godlike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 20 years yeah. ago, I used to watch them, man, and I 25 remember. years ago, they're like, these men were just like, mm -hmm. you can't mess That's about with fight. these men. Watching their fights you know I mean? was so fun. E, dude, I fell in love because Do you know what I mean? The, 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 Evander. The yeah. So he really both threw away the WBC belt. That's you right. know when you ask him to, to bid the belts now, I was like, I ain't doing this. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't tell me what to do. So to see him now, clearly broke. Yeah. Like, let's be honest, Evander broke as well. Evander said, I've got so many grandkids and kids I've got to look after. Yeah. And you think, Evander, you squandered 300 million pounds. Bruh. Like, what is, go what is going on? Yeah, so there's a story behind the story. His house is Rick Ross's house now. Yeah. They filmed Coming to America in that house. No, that's not Evander's yeah, house. That's, that's, that's Evander's house. house. That's not house. Evander's house. That's Evander Holyfield's house. Did it get repo? Did they take the Did they take the house? Did it? Did the house go into um? Or did he sell it to him? I think he. I think, I think he, he sold it. He to might him. Sold it might to him. Surely there's yeah. got to be some residual P off the house. No, there's house. not. He, he he's has it's issues with money. Man. And the Tax. funny thing is that Ryan Kavanaugh, the one, the thriller, the thriller like president, has come out today. He was on like um Ariel Hawan. I don't know if you know that guy, MMA guy. So he's got a YouTube channel, big, big YouTube channel, best MMA journalist in the world by some distance. And that Ryan Kavanaugh, the, the founder of Triller, was like, Evander's going to fight again. And then he tried to make an excuse as to why. He said, if you watch the fight slowly, Evander's feet tripped over Vitor Belfort's feet. And that's why he flew, he threw into the ropes. And then he says something like he then swinged at Vitor and he missed. And that's why he then fell over because of the momentum of the power. He's selling it again. He said, Evander's going to fight again. And they're trying to make Evander hold for Mike Tyson. He's fighting again, he oh, says. I had, I had 50. I had 50 pushing that. Yeah, hard. 50 he was pushing that. And that's like, Because these can't. guys don't care. They're all about money. They have no ill feelings. And the funny thing is, when I see these ex-boxers... Don't you worry that something's going to happen. I worry for all of them. Like, I see Kevin Mitchell, who I grew up watching, Kevin Mitchell. Oh, yeah. Romford guy. I've watched his fights. I remember yeah. his fight against Jorge Linares. And now I see Kevin Mitchell and he struggles to speak. speak yeah. Like he's, yeah. You know, he's very, yeah. And you're like... Seen him. You know, everyone's like, oh, go on, go out on your shield, Kevin. Oi, Kevin. That's right. Now... 
who's, who's helping him? That's right. Yeah. Now, where, you know, where are all those people that are saying, go out on your shield, do what you do? Mm. That's why I think I loved Floyd so much. And Floyd's like, catering to you guys. Yeah, yeah it's I'll cool. fight him because that's the easiest fight. It's the most money. There's nothing cool about nothing taking cool punishment. Nothing cool about trying to take punishment. Nothing, nothing cool as well. That's sad. I can't believe it. Tyson versus Evander Holyfield is but, wrong. No, the, the reason why Tyson versus Evander Holyfield is actually right is because Tyson is going to look after him in there. Look what he did against Roy Jones. He didn't try and take out Roy Jones. He, Roy Jones, that was a gentle yeah, was sparring nice thing. They were cool. Nice It'll be that. We're all surprised because Vitor Belfort came to smoke him. Vitor came to take... Vitor, Vitor came like, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. And I, I, want, I want this on my CV. He had the chip of UFC guys. We come over here and we yeah. all lose. Mm. I'm going to come and smoke. That's how he came into the fight. Mm. Uh, that's what that was about. So if he fights Tyson, he'll be protected. You know the there. worst thing as well? And... Obviously, that young Mexican girl, um, Mexican heritage, died three weeks ago. Yes, yeah. yes. So, so look, when that, and I said, like, when's the light bulb moment for boxing when it's like, all right, we need to sort some shit out here? Surely it's a death. Surely it's some a boxer dying is the moment when boxing says, all right, you know what? It, we need to clean this shit be up because this is now crazy. Mm. Like, Evander Holyfield didn't get sanctioned in one commission. And he went for, somewhere they else. They went to went another commission and got sanctioned. So, one commission was like, Dude, we can't sanction you because your medicals have come back a bit mm -hmm. sketchy. You're 58 years old. You've not had a fight for seven, eight, nine years, whatever it was. 17 years ago, New York said, we can't sanction you. That's 17 right. 17 years, New York was like, you know what, we can't sanction you. Mm -hmm. so when he was 41. That's right. So at 58, can someone say, you know what, give him a license. Let him it's go. It's okay. Give him it. He, he's fine. Horrendous. This is horrendous, bro. Nah, People Vandas, die in this sport. This ain't football. And Vander's got to get into this NFT thing, fam. He must have stuff NFT. to give away. He must have new meat, bro. I know yeah. you lot are you lot think it's joke, NFT. yeah? No, it's actually real talk. But, but then it's like, they might need to adopt new meat, like the new thing, fam. Yeah, no, you know, he should. Remember he done some, like, He must have he, someone. When he was on know. Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson and done his little podcast, it was fun. I remember listening to the stories of him and Mike were jabbing back at each other. And I was like, Evander could do that. Evander mm. could sit down and talk because it was really, Evander spoke so well on yes, it. Still... And I'm thinking he's got a bit of an audience there yeah. where, you know, you, you know, YouTube's like, you make a bit of money, Humor. you get a sponsor and you think, okay, I've got something else to do because I think a lot of these boxing guys, a lot of sport guys as well, they just miss the adoration. They miss people coming up to them and signing autographs and, oh my God, let me take a photo with you. They miss that. Yeah. If he gets into something where people see him again, he'll, he'll grow again. I've watched Kwame True. Brown. Yeah. Rebrand. <laughs> Have the biggest rebrand and make a lot, a lot of money without getting hurt. And mm -hmm. he's changed the whole narrative on him. Yeah. That I say Kwame Brown positively. Yeah. So I don't know why these superstars heroes of the game yeah but you gotta remember there's a lot a lot of people who grew up and all they did their whole life was box like Holyfield's very country yeah. like he's just I, I got these and this is how I can make money that's it it's how I've always done it when you make a certain amount of money don't you can't you afford to get certain people around you though that you they can... do and people steal from them that's right how many stories you hear about you know Don King and Evander mm -hmm. and Don King and Mike and you know chasing money and it's just people's accountants still you know, I'm not trying to say these guys aren't educated, but that they're, they're fighters. They're easy targets. Yeah. They're easy targets. Oh, yeah, here's this. Just sign that paper and right. we'll get you. And then, you know, the a Rolex and a Rolls Royce will appear. But they've realized someone's stolen a million. And it's also the investment conversations. It's like, Evander, look, we got this great company and I'm telling you, they're going to be huge. $10 million now, $80 million later. And I'm you hear that talk and you're like, I don't know that world. You do. Go on, run it. Yeah. Next minute. Sorry, Evander. It's all gone. But look. And it isn't just boxing. We can get it back. And look, it just goes at, again. Look at rappers. Like, I'm the biggest Tupac fan in the world. Mm. Like, Tupac really should have shares in Hennessy and, and Alize. Like, he was, you know when you see oh, rappers yeah, now with, with they've all got their they brands. Feels, yeah. like, wait a minute. Tupac was a, Mr. Hennessy. I started drinking Hennessy because of Tupac. I and Alize, because like I love that they, they, they don't know Alize was push. just Alize, Alize was just used to, alcoholic cowboy fam. Hundred percent, it was wild fam. <laughs> Tupac, so Tupac used to rap wild. Hennessy and Alize, right. so no one knew what they were doing. That's right. In the nineties, like that, yeah, everyone yeah. got taken advantage of until Dr. Dre and Puffy and Jay started to. Wait, one second, we can get we can own our masters. We can do this. Everyone got taken advantage of. Everyone uh, and these boxers that got taken advantage of in the nineties are the ones that are fighting now. Mm. They yeah. want to. They want to still go now. It's crazy, and that's why you have to respect the AJs. You have to respect Dylan. You have to respect you have all to these men. Them with Floyd stables. Mayweather. Yeah, he's Talk the Floyd he they, Mayweather he was the it. one that was like, uh, uh, nah. no, you ain't gonna, gonna have me like that. You ain't, you're not doing yeah. that. I'm put my own team around me. I've got my own people. Yeah, I am my own boss. You ain't doing shit.
That's yeah. real. And now you've got these guys like Devin Haney who look up to Floyd and they've got their own promotional company. That's right. And over here, as much as we kind of laughed about David Hay 4.57, he was the first. Hey, pro- hey, made hey the promo- promotion. Yes, made real. Promotion. That was before yeah. anyone. It's so I before, true. No one in the UK had their own promotional company. He even like that. got that true. Dave thing as well, even though it was a crazy look, but he did it. David, David, Dave, Dave on Dave? Dave? Dave on Dave? David Hay was moving differently early. Yeah. David Hay, Haymaker Promotions was massive from the get go. That's like, why when I say these, when I say like he was AJ before AJ. 100%. Yeah. yeah. No messing around. When I talk about the gravity of David Hayes' era, different league, bro. Mm. Listen, it's fight week. I am excited, yeah. especially when you bring in the, what Usyk is going to bring mm. to this thing. Yeah, what AJ's gonna it's not it's not settled. It's uh it's something that all fight fans should be excited for. And if AJ gets this done, flowers. Monday night Facts. smoke, Facts. super flowers. I'm talking I bring you flowers, fam. I'm telling you right now, yeah. Well, like, I bring you flowers. In the pouring <laughs> rain, fam. In the pouring, in the pouring rain, rain. Bro, uh, get, bro me, garage skanking. And it's sixty five thousand people. I'm there. telling you right now, yeah. AJ does a madness on Saturday. Any one of these journalists I see not giving him the credit, I'm getting straight at. Oh, I'm getting straight at them. I'm not playing I, by name. Everybody's getting smoked. I'm not there having it because the amount of criticism this guy gets for random things of like just speculation and imagination, <clears throat> you're gonna give him his flowers after he gets this W. And then we move forward into Fury. I know we we've been feeling a bit of a way about it. It's ending. The year's ending correctly in boxing. It is though. We get yeah, Fu- yeah. we get Fury Wilder mm. AJ ringside. Mm-hmm. When I see Fury walk to the ring, that's when I know the fight is definitely happening. And let's not also forget. I mean, it's not, might not be what we want in the world, but we get Sean Porter, Terence Crawford. Oh, yes, snap! Brilliant. You know I mean? Yeah, oh, that is gonna be a war. Oh, I'm excited about a that war of attrition, yeah. fam. Even Canelo Cali plants come in. That's good. Estrada, Chocolatito. Listen, every time people say boxing is not happening, it's just just like a mad run of greatness, and I'm like, give them a one dry slap. Yeah. But people, man. um... Thank oh, you for rocking with us for again. Real. The Trojan Horse. Trojan Horse Part Two. That's part the- <laughs> two. That's what the episode's called. Thank, Thank you for you coming back. I and love literally it, love it. Love it. Keep winning, keep shining, and for real. we'll just yeah, man. Strength to strength. Let's go. Ring Peace. that bell, fam. Take it easy. Peace. Let's do another one. Let's do Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be. 